Living conditions in different areas are influenced by various factors, such as environmental conditions and the presence of toxic substances. Hiroshima and Nagasaki Although having experienced devastating atomic bombings during World War, I have been successfully rebuilt and are now inhabited. However, the same cannot be said for Chernobyl, which faced a catastrophic nuclear accident in 1986. This video aims to explain the reasons why people can live in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, but not in Chernobyl, focusing on factors like decontamination efforts, radiation levels, long-term consequences, and government actions. One of the primary reasons people can live in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, but not in Chernobyl, is the difference in decontamination efforts. After the bombings in 1945, extensive cleanup operations were carried out in Hiroshima and Nagasaki to remove radioactive debris and restore areas for habitation. This involved the removal of contaminated soil, building demolitions, and regular monitoring to ensure safe living conditions. In contrast, the Chernobyl disaster led to the release of large amounts of radioactive materials that spread across a wide region, making comprehensive decontamination efforts extremely challenging. Secondly, radiation levels play a crucial role in determining habitability. Hiroshima and Nagasaki were struck by atomic bombs, which caused immediate destruction and casualties, but the radioactive fallout was limited to the initial blast area. Within days, radiation levels in these cities dropped significantly, allowing residents to return and rebuild their lives. In contrast, the Chernobyl accident resulted in a core fire and a subsequent explosion, releasing massive amounts of radioactive materials into the atmosphere. This contamination not only affected nearby cities like Pripyat, but also spread over a larger area, leading to higher radiation levels that are still a concern today. Moreover, the long-term consequences of radiation exposure differ between these locations. The atom bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki released a significant amount of radiation causing immediate health effects for those within close proximity. However, the long-term effects, including increased cancer risks and genetic mutations, were less prevalent due to the sudden and intense nature of the bombings. On the other hand, the Chernobyl accident resulted in prolonged exposure to radiation for many individuals leading to various health issues, including thyroid cancer, genetic abnormalities, and an increased incidence of other cancers. Before continuing, please like the video to support us and subscribe to the Fact Cemetery channel. Thank you. Another critical factor is the response of the respective governments. In the aftermath of the atomic bombings, the Japanese government was proactive in assisting the affected areas by providing monetary aid, medical support, and resources for reconstruction. This helped the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki recover and regain their status as habitable locations. In Chernobyl, the Soviet Union initially downplayed the severity of the accident, which delayed international assistance and the government's response to the disaster itself was criticized for its inefficiency and lack of transparency. Furthermore, the size and scale of the affected regions also contribute to the difference in livability. Hiroshima and Nagasaki were primarily urban areas that experienced immense destruction within a limited space. The concentrated impact allowed for more targeted recovery efforts making it easier to rebuild infrastructure and restore basic services like electricity and water supply. Conversely, the Chernobyl disaster affected a vast rural area spanning several countries, making it more complex and expensive to provide necessary resources and infrastructure for long-term habitation. Additionally, the availability of alternative living options played a significant role in determining the fate of these areas. 
Hiroshima and Nagasaki are located in densely populated regions where the destruction of infrastructure resulted in temporary displacement of residents. However, nearby areas offered viable options for resettlement, allowing people to return and rebuild their lives. In contrast, the Chernobyl accident occurred in a remote region with limited nearby settlements, making relocation and rebuilding much more challenging for the affected population. Lastly, ongoing efforts to mitigate risks and educate the population also impact the possibility of living in these regions. Despite the devastation caused by the atomic bombs, Hiroshima and Nagasaki have made tremendous progress in raising awareness about the dangers of radiation and implementing safety measures. The establishment of memorials, museums, and educational centers in these cities has helped educate the public and future generations about the horrors of nuclear warfare. Conversely, the Chernobyl disaster exposed the world to the catastrophic consequences of a nuclear accident, leading to a global awakening on the risks associated with nuclear energy and a renewed focus on safety measures. Thank you for being with us on this journey so far. Your like motivates and supports the Fact Cemetery channel.